We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love Abby? Abby, is that you? Hey. You look great. Oh my gosh. You can touch me. I was told to take my time. And I am. Hi. Hi. You look so good. Look pretty good, don't I? You look really good. You do too. This is wonderful. You like it? I like it. Damn. Oh, that was smooth. You're gorgeous. I read your letter. Good. Good paper choice. Thank you. Marker choice too, huh? Yeah. Size choice, really. I love you so much. <laughs> mm. To feel the dew on your skin, that is how it would begin. For summer is for falling in love. Well, here we are at last. Let's just pause for a moment, and I want you to take this all in. Look at all of the people that are here to show you how much they love and support you. Here it is. <laughs> As you are part of their lives, they chose to be here with you. Let's just think about that word for a few minutes. Small but very important. Choice. It's what made this day possible. Your choice to talk to each other almost six years ago in a dorm room. Abby, you choosing to put your birthday in your phone, Richard, and your choice to become friends. That was a good one because as you grew in friendship, you chose to get to know each other, eat dorm dinners together, play cards, spend time outside, and just learn about each other's stories. Richard started thinking about you as wifey material, which was another good choice. <laughs> and after many months, the chance was there to grow your relationship and you chose to have an official date. Thank you, Chili's. <laughs> From that day on, you chose to be a couple and you have continued to choose each other since. As the pandemic brought you the challenges of isolation, the gift of dear sweet Ruth, career decisions, and ultimately move, a move back to the Des Moines area, you have faced a lot as a young couple take a minute to reflect on what you've accomplished and what you've gone through. You as a couple have chosen to rise together. You've chosen to do the hard work on hard days. You've chosen to sacrifice your needs for each other and for Ruth because you already know that this is bigger than either of you. Your choices have already shown tremendous commitment, respect for each other, and hope for your very bright future together. Each day forward brings you both opportunities to choose to see the good in yourselves and each other. To choose to count the many, many blessings you share. To choose encouragement over criticism. To choose to focus on solutions over problems. Choose to find the lesson in the struggle. Choose to embrace, embrace both tears and laughter, because that's who you are. 
and always, always, always to choose love. As you know, the wedding rings you will wear are symbols of your love and devotion to each other. Because Richard and Abby are very centered and grounded by family, they would like to involve you by passing their rings to the friends and family in the front. As you take their rings in your hands, please send up a blessing or some good vibes for their life together. Abby and Richard, you're about to make your forever promises of commitment to each other. You will find that as each of you live by these vows over the years, investing your time, love, and loyalty to one another, the happy times of your life will be twice as rich because you'll share these joys in marriage. Make a bed of green, the top of white open scene. Under a canvas of blue, I would draw ever nearer to you. To feel the dew on your skin, that is how it would begin for some. The two of you are so definitely MFEO, which means made for each other <laughs> by the power vested in me from American Marriage Ministries, which is recognized by the state of Iowa. I now pronounce you Richard and Abby to him. Richard, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Here we go, Ruthie. Here we go, Ruthie. Here we go. We did it. Here we go. Yay, baby girl. Yes, Ruthie, yes. Go, girl, go. As you guys know, is the most caring, compassionate person, and that comes through in everything she does at work, at her home. She's been the best aunt to Myla and a fantastic mom to Ruth, and I know you'll be a great wife too. I think I first met him at you and I homecoming. Um, Abby brought him up to meet us, and he walked up. This guy who had hair looking like he should be in a commercial on horseback, you know, it's just flowing in the wind. <laughs> With a big backpack, John and Sherry, I'm sure it was full of textbooks to study during the game. That's it. Um, but he was so polite. And if I had one word to describe Richie, it would be chill. And I think that's still true today. And I love her, but she needs a little chill sometimes. But Richie, I'm glad to have gained a brother. And since I have the mic and you're stuck listening, I have three pieces of unsolicited advice for you. Always have food. You have seen Abby hangry, and it's really scary. Don't call her Krabby Abby unless you want her to be more mad. And three, always remember to say those three special words to her. You are right. Because as they say, a man who is wrong and admits it is wise. A man who is right but doesn't say anything is married. I have known Richie now for more than half of our lives. It's 14 years. Um, everybody keeps talking about his hair tonight. Uh, I want you to know that I knew him when it was an inch, inch off the head. And he's just as gorgeous then as he is now. I promise, more so. I regret that one a little bit. Um, I, I've, I've known Abby and Richie since the very, very beginning of their relationship. And super happy to and honored to be a part of them, like getting together, being together. Richie is not only a friend, he's a great role model for me. We challenge each other constantly. We um, constantly want to help each other grow. And I know that Abby is such a key part of that for him. And I've seen him just blossom into such an amazing person and father and friend um, because of your relationship. And I love you both so much. And this went better than it should have. So let's, all right. Thank you.